Question 10 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A student makes the following statements about the universe. Statement 1. The force due to gravity acts against the expansion of the universe. Statement 2. Measurements show that the rate of expansion of the universe is increasing. Statement 3. The mass of a galaxy can be estimated by the orbital speed of the stars within the galaxy. Well, statement 1, the force due to gravity acts against the expansion of the universe is in fact true. Because gravity tends to pull mass together, you have the expansion of the universe going outwards, but the force of gravity is trying to pull it all backwards. So statement 1 is correct. Measurements show that the rate of expansion of the universe is increasing. Now that statement is correct as well. Because we've found out that the universe's rate of expansion is increasing. We have no answer to that, so we've only got to describe why it's happening or the phenomenon it's causing as dark energy. So statement 2 is correct. Statement 3, the mass of a galaxy can be estimated by the orbital speed of the stars within the galaxy. And that is true as well. So all three statements are true, and that leaves us with statement E, and the answer for this one will be E. Question 11 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. An alpha particle is accelerated in an electric field between metal plates P and Q. The charge on the alpha particle is 3.2 times 10 to minus 19 coulombs. The kinetic energy gained by the alpha particle while travelling from plate P to plate Q is 8.0 times 10 to minus 16 joules. I'm going to ask to find the potential difference across the plates P and Q. Now remember, if the alpha particle gains kinetic energy, there must have been some work done on it. And the work is done on the alpha particle by the electric field. Remember, the electric field lines go from the positive along to the negative, and the arrow indicates the force experienced, the direction of the force experienced by a positive charge. An alpha particle is a positive charge. So the alpha particle is going to be accelerated from P towards Q. The electric field will do work on the alpha particle. Now you look up your data sheet and we find out that the work done on a charged particle passing through potential difference of V is Q, the size of its charge, times potential difference V. We can rearrange that and we can say that W, the work done on it, divided by Q, is equal to V, the potential difference. So what was the work done? The work done appeared as kinetic energy, so that was going to be 8 Point zero times 10 to the minus 16 joules and divide that by the charge on the alpha particle which was 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs and we do that in our calculator and we end up with an answer of 2.5 times 10 to the power of 3 joules per coulomb. But we know that a joule per coulomb is really a volt, so we have 2.5 times 10 to the power 3 volts. And our answer will be D.